I guess I was really interested in Green TV because it's a combination of everything that I do as a visual artist, it's everything in my practice. I'm also, uh, sort of in my hobbies, I'm really interested in nature and the outdoors. Um, so reading, reading the brief for the commission was really fantastic. It sort of ticked everything that I do. Everyone thinks of uh, the Tees Valley as kind of a centre of industry, and of course it is, but Coates and Marsh is kind of this little enclave nestled between the sea and Corvus. And I love that you can be surrounded by these hills with this really long grass being blown in the wind and lots of birds coming and nesting and coming from Africa to come to this kind of tiny little sort of haven almost in amidst the sea and in amidst the industry. I've already got one, Jews. It's smaller than the one that we found. <laughs> We're pupils from Zetland School in Redcar. We've been working with Bethan on a green TV project. We've been making windmills and windsocks. We went on a field trip to Colton Marsh where we did pond dipping, scavenger hunts and a mini bin beast hunt. My favourite bit was the pond dipping, because then we, get, we got to catch what animals that we didn't know about. My favourite bit was where we did sound maps, because it was all nice and quiet. Being quiet and listening is quite a hard thing to do, especially when you're younger and you're used to, and you've been encouraged on this site to talk about everything that you're seeing. So getting them to sit by themselves and calmly experience the site just by hearing was a really, really kind of nice way to try and get them to capture uh, what they could hear on the site. One of the biggest natural resources that you get on Cote de Marsh, and that's the wind. So <laughs> whenever you go, no matter what season or no matter what time of day, it's always incredibly windy. We made a huge kind of windmill and every people made a blade of this windmill and uh, I fixed it all together when we took it to the site and uh, we looked at how it would respond to the wind. Now, the, the windmill that I made wasn't the strongest, so because the wind is so strong, it didn't work particularly brilliantly. But this was a really lovely opportunity for uh, myself and the pupils to talk, I guess, about design technology and engineering and appropriate materials. And if this was to be the final artwork for Coates and Marsh, how, uh, what it would need to be made of and how we could make it better. And that was really lovely to get their, to get their um, minds working in that way and, and to see them problem solving and, and almost competing with each other. Uh, so they were incredibly enthusiastic about that. I thought about um, how I would simple, um, simplify that idea. So I looked at maybe making some wind socks. They're, they're really beautiful coloured wind socks and all the imagery that you see on them is inspired by these little um, colour tiles that the pupils made which when we took back to our site visit the next, the next week was really fantastic because they were so colourful and it was a really lovely opportunity for the pupils to see their work in situ. Um, I think they really, really embraced that and I was so impressed with their work and how successfully um, the Windsocks worked on the site that it's something since that I've been developing as a possible final piece. We all went to Court and Marsh. It was a project called Green TV. We learnt how to pond dip, we caught some fish and other slimy animals. I work with Key Stage 1 and 2, so primary school kids a lot. Um, I don't work so much with secondary school, so I was quite interested in how I would engage with them and how I would um, be able to work with a group, an older group that maybe aren't necessarily that interested in engaging with the outdoors. Um, but taking them there and working with Steve from Tees Wildlife, who was incredibly... Uh, enthusiastic and animated about the site um, it was really easy to catch that enthusiasm and the pupils caught it too so we did a lot of exploration and especially when the weather was good we really really enjoyed the site and, and kind of engaged in it what have we got in there ah you picked some pink uh, pink camping I think it is very nice uh, it's on people's doorstep and quite often people don't know it's there and that's one of the things through green TV we were involving 
different schools that we'd not worked with before who knew it was there but didn't know they could go. So they've been and visited the site and also some of them brought their parents again as well, so that's quite nice. A lot of the work for Viadales was sculptural um, and me and Steve had talked a lot about the habitats um, and environments that animals create on Cote de Marsh. Steve had brought along lots of different nests, so maybe um, a house martens, or we looked at reed warblers nests, which are um, a bird that lives on Cote de Marsh, and they create these beautiful weaved uh, nests out of bulrushes, and then they collect lots of materials and weave it round a structure that's already there. So uh, we looked at a lot of those kinds of structures and, and the ways that animals um, make their homes, and we used that as a springboard to then create these sculptures that were imaginative creations of, of animals and ne animals nests that we may find on the site. So the nests again were very much uh, combining lots of different animals uh, nests and their structures to create these, these quite uh, mad and creative ones. It's quite good to go outside uh, for once because we don't really get many chances to go out of school and do activities.